Hi everyone, my name's Emily and I've been studying abroad in Paris this semester. I have finally gotten around to editing all of this footage, and so without further ado, here's week one. Water today from um <laughs> from uh, this <laughs> put up. It tastes pretty much just like what's inside. Okay, so it's actually pretty good. Cool. Better than California's water. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So basically, all you need to know about me is that I'm a super senior and I've been doing my last semester ever in Paris with the USC Paris program because I thought that immersion would be the best way to finish off my French major. And, you know, who doesn't love a little study abroad moment? Honestly, I'm really glad I was able to go to Paris for my last semester because originally I was supposed to go in fall of 2020. Yeah, take a lucky guess why that didn't work out. So far from me now If I turn it up, can you hear the sound? Just give me a sound I'm stunned first week was like a dream. Partially because we were all so jet-lagged. Partially because we were in Paris, a city of love, light, culture, history, and most importantly, the most Instagrammable aesthetics. Just kidding. But also because our classes hadn't started, and you know, the program was giving us tours and easing us into the city. So, basically, vacation. I swear to God, I'm just laughing in every video, but we're here in Paris. She's getting that cotton candy sky. Voilà, c'est l'endroit qui est devenu célèbre grâce à ce qui A drop from the ocean The light of a single star Just one moment sets you apart A gift from heaven The love from someone's heart Talk to me, treat me like a magazine. Après presque une semaine en France, on a finalement, on a finalement craqué. Hey. Oh my God, this is what all stores look like in France. <laughs> And say hi. Mais on va où? On va où? Bah, je sais pas. À une boîte, peut-être. Allez, go. Let's try again. Okay, like the French YouTubers. Okay. C'est parti. C'est parti. Allez, c'est parti. Allez, go.
Beispiel. <lacht> There needs to be more matcha, but otherwise it's pretty good. I'm satisfied coming in. Guys, let everyone know you're a tourist. Sitting in your room, working on my first record. Skip to the present, and I'm still hiding in these days. Am I pointing at it? No. Move this way? Yeah. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Move your hand higher. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's good. Hello! So I just wanted to talk for a bit because it's been a week since I've been in Paris and uh, I guess I just wanted to share some reflections about how that's been. So for some context, I've been studying French in college as one of my majors and in total I've been studying French for eight years starting from when I was 14 years old in high school. I'm at around like a B1 or B2 level in French and I guess my goal here in France is to get get good <laughs> but no okay my goal here in France is to improve my French language particularly la langue parlée I just really want to connect with people especially when it comes to like talking with people my age I like I feel a bit like my capacity to do that is quite limited because um I still have difficulty listening to people talk fast, which apparently les jeunes font beaucoup, but I digress. I really want to make friends who are French, so I can't just be asking them to repeat repeatedly. I've also um, had the fortune of talking to some jeunes français, like one of the other students on the trip, um, slash one of my friends. She has like some French friends already and so she like introduced us to some of them and surprisingly they were nicer than I thought honestly because like I guess my greatest fear was that I would be too poor at listening um, and at speaking that people would just not have patience to be friends with me and honestly I'm still kind of scared of that. I, I think the first couple of days my French was like getting better and better as I was getting used to like seeing and hearing the language everywhere um, but then after that um, I think I just like hit a point where I realized how far I still have to go. Sometimes the pronunciation is rough especially when it comes to like R's. Freaking Carrefour. Carrefour. Like, I can hear how, I can hear and feel how unnatural that is, but like, it's been like difficult to correct little things like that. And, um, I don't know, I guess it's been a little bit frustrating in some ways. I guess what sometimes bothers me is that I know that I may never sound like a native French speaker. You know, I guess that's honestly a reality for a lot of people who are learning like a new language. Anyway, all the mixed feelings aside, I'm really excited to be here in Paris. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. So many adventures are yet to come, so. Starting on a new page feels better every time. Flip a simple waking up next to you. These thoughts escape them. Shouldn't be more than a year 